turn it now. Hey guys, I am DC, your host of Varside Jive Live, and today is Tuesday, April 23rd, and this is my first freaking episode of this new Tuesday at evening, Tuesday evening edition. I have to remember what time it is, it's so dark in here, sometimes I think it's later than it is. Um, Tuesday edition of Varside Jive Live show here at the Vocal Media Studios in downtown Dallas. This show is going to feature cover and tribute acts as well as a cool ass art segment that we're like tonight calling anything art for lack of something more creative. But um, but we're going to, like I say, a cool art segment. And uh, this show will also feature a concert calendar of local uh, local cover and tribute bands that are playing the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We're going to add that next week as people tiptoe past the studio. I like to watch people tiptoe past the <laughs> studio. <laughs> like they got to be really quiet, right? Um, today is World Book Day, guys. World Book Day. The United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization proposed World Book Day as a day of celebrating the joy of reading for enjoyment. Enough of that crap. So if you want to celebrate na- uh, World Book Day, get your book and read it. And like me and Bob, we just get the cliff notes. That's right. Or watch right. the movie. Right, or watch <laughs> the movie. Um, but we're so glad you guys chose to hang out with us today. Hopefully you got my Facebook message to go to vocalnow.com, vocal with a K. Of course, if you're here, you already know that. So we hope you guys are going to enjoy this show. You'll let us know afterwards. I'm sure I'll get your messages. But uh, we're going to do this every Tuesday. And, you know, my Thursday show, we feature original stuff. And this Tuesday show, we're going to feature covers and tributes, do some art stuff and and the concert calendar and do some stuff we haven't done before. So uh, provide an avenue for stuff that we can't do on Thursday. So it's really going to be cool. And we're looking forward to it. This show is sponsored by the zoo. The Zoo. On vocal. The Zoo is the world's best rock and can be streamed 24 7, 365 at vocalnow.com. Whether you create music or some other form of art or would like to be featured on this show, or maybe you want to sponsor or advertise, or maybe you have an idea or a comment, yeah, drop me a line, dc at barsidejob.com. Guys, born on this day in 1936. Any guesses? 1936. Yeah, 1936. Wasn't me. No. <laughs> it wasn't me. Roy Orbison, uh-huh. American singer-songwriter. The Big O, who had a 1964 UK and US number one single with Pretty Woman plus over 20 U.S. and 30 U.K. top 40 singles, including Only the Lonely in 1960, Running Scared in 1961, and Crying. With the Traveling Wilburys, he had a 1988 U.K. hit single, Handle with Care. Orbison died of a heart attack on the 6th of December in 1988. You know, my... My favorite project that he was involved in was the Traveling Wilburys, and I still love to go back and listen to that stuff. And my favorite ever Traveling Wilbury song was She's My Baby. Just love that song. Triple Lindy should do that song. Yeah. The freaking badass song. But, guys, check out check out the Traveling Wilburys on YouTube for you youngsters out there. And uh, see if you don't agree that the Traveling Wilburys did some amazing stuff with, gosh, Bob Dylan and uh, George Harrison and who in the hell else was in that? Tom Petty 
Um, one more, right? One more. Anyway, it's good enough. <laughs> so, it's a great band, man. It was some great stuff, and I love to go back and listen to it. Okay, Bob. Yes, sir. Okay. And another one that, bites the that dust. That didn't work right. Okay, guys, this is the first freaking show. There's going to be some mishaps. Jay, what the hell's going on? <laughs> Damn it. I'm going to make that crap work whether it kills me. Oh, my gosh, guys. We are the home to the unbelievable and absurd news that you just won't get anywhere else. It's what we're known for. So here it is, the important shit. Okay. Pizza restaurant closed after employees put laxatives on pies. A pizza restaurant in Springtown, Texas, which is relatively close to here, had to close this past weekend after it was discovered that employees had put laxatives on at least one pie. Now, they're saying pie, but it's actually pizza. Is it, are they saying pie because pizza pie? Yes. Okay, well, that's stupid. No, that's what the Italians call it. Okay, I don't like that shit. It's pizza here in Texas. (laughs) That's a bunch of crap, Bob. (laughs) Sorry. Okay, on Friday night, the Springtown Police Department got a call about possible food tampering at a Mr. Jim's pizza location. Apparently, one of the employees posted on social media that they were putting Miralax, a brand of laxatives, on pizzas, according to Dallas Fox affiliate, KDFW-TV. Authorities said three employees admitted doing some crappy shit by putting the laxative on at least one pizza that ended up being eaten unknowingly by a co-worker according to NBC affiliate. The employee who ate the pranked pizza started feeling pretty crappy and then got sick. But the people who made the pizza denied putting laxatives on any pizzas purchased by the public. The city's health inspector, I guess that would be the Springtown health inspector, I guess they've got one, pulled the business. I mean, Springtown's like a little bitty like dot, right? It's like, yeah, a little bitty place. Um, they pulled the business's health permit and shut them down until an inspection scheduled, until an inspection could be scheduled, according to the Fort Worth Star Telegram. As of Monday afternoon, it remained unopened. Police have not said whether any criminal charges will be filed. Mr. Jim's Pizza has made a statement that employees who are involved in this prank have all been terminated. I would hope so. Sounds like one crappy meal, Bob. <laughs> Also sounds like a shitty deal. (laughs) All right, man. So, hey, Mr. Jim's, guys, place to go. You know, you eat all that uh, pasta, you eat all that that bread, and you probably can't crap. So you got some built-in laxatives, and then you, you know, it works. It works. Mix it with cheese. Maybe you should be able to order it that way (laughs) so you don't get constipated on all that dough. Yeah, that's right. That's what I think. All right, guys, that was it for the news. I still like the turtle. Heck yeah, baby. We had a winner with that one. It was perfect that time. Way to go, Jay. Jay, you're doing a good job in there, man. Jay. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, good job. Hey, that that time. 100%. DC, though. Hey, you, <laughs> third time's a charm, baby. You're, you're getting better and better. <laughs> Me? <laughs> hey, you're, you're in there with all those buttons. Uh, we appreciate you, Jay. We really do. Um, stick around for the rest of the show, Jay, will you? <laughs> we might need you. Guys, so now it's time for our new segment that we just kind of titled Anything Art, um, for lack of a better um, title, but our guest is the amazing Alyssa Walker. Hey, Alyssa. Hello, DC. Hey, 
Casey. How are you? Oh, I'm wonderful. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And now, guys, let me tell you, Alyssa is this amazing artist, and she has uh, volunteered to share not only her art creating ability with Barside Jive Live, Bob, but she's also volunteered to host this new segment that we're going to do here every Tuesday, right? We're going to feature a, a new artist every week. Absolutely. Which means that you better get on the ball. Yeah, I've, you, I've reached out to a couple of people. Have you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's lining up like talent to they come show their turn, stuff. They better not turn down this opportunity. Right. This is amazing. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We're excited to have you. We're excited that you're here. And we want to kind of talk a little bit about you this time. And uh, so kind of how did this art thing happen for you? I mean, what is that early age? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I definitely um, when I was a kid, I was just an art prodigy, I guess you could say. I was always the person in class who doodled everywhere. You know how every artist starts out is they're the person on the chalkboard who's making ruckus in class and just kind of not really paying a whole lot of attention Uh, that's always been me and it's still me um i'm very artistic very open-minded spiritual and just out there and excited for life i love it i see everything in sparkling colors and it's not a lie (laughs) it's a lifestyle yeah it's it's just something that it's it's never going to go away so it's it's the path i've chosen right it chose me as much as i chose it definitely wow yeah wow so what kind of art do you do Alyssa? Um, When I first started, I really was experimenting with multiple different medias. I started with pen and a few graphite pencils. And then once I moved on from that, I got really heavy into acrylics and watercolor. I liked the way that I could work with them in layers. So that way, you know, I can build my colors into what I want them to be instead of just putting, you know, straight pigment onto paper. I like the idea of building up my layers and you can kind of change it as you go, which is kind of what leads me into this piece, you know, sitting behind me is, this is actually my first piece I've ever made in chalk pastels. So I was trying out a new media, and um, I, wow. I used a bit of the same technique that I would use uh, with acrylic or oil painting or um, watercolor with just building layers and layers and layers. Um, and it's, you know, so far so good. I think it's a, a series I'm working on of just people in my life who honestly have opened up doors and, like, you know, opened up new avenues for me who maybe didn't know that. Right. And so, you know, I didn't ask Natalie. This is my friend Natalie. And okay. I didn't ask her to take this picture. Um, I snapped it of her, just in, candid in the moment. And she just catches my eye. You know, this is really who she is and what she looks like, how she dresses every day. And she's just vivacious. And she's unapologetic. And I just think she's an amazing, incredible person. And I aspire to be that way. And just getting to spend so much time. It's funny when I make art of people, I feel like I'm spending time with them. And in, in a very weird way, it's very personal, mm-hmm. you know, because I've already spent easily over 18 to 20 hours on this piece alone. Oh, I bet. And, you know, you're yeah. sitting there looking, you know, at a picture of her and getting reference. And, you know, I'm sitting here all these pictures and she is so ecstatic to have a piece made of her. She had no idea. I just sent it to her. And actually, this piece just made it into the news, into a, a news article called The Collegian. And I actually called you and told you about that because that was really exciting. Yeah, that was really cool. So, yeah, I saw you on the, the, the front page, I guess, of this uh, newspaper mm-hmm. uh, and it was all about you and your art photos and it's incredible it's such a great feeling it's um something about my artwork is it's it just creates so many relationships with people you know it it almost gives people an, like a a green light to just approach me and to ask me about you know what are you doing you know how do you do this or you know what's your story and how did you become you know talented in this media or how do you do this and it's cool you know I love people and for people to feel so comfortable to come up and talk to me and ask me that it just brightens my day it just I love it I genuinely just love connection and just talking to people and that's what this series is about is you know I really connected with Natalie on on a different level that I never thought I was going to and she was just such an incredible influence um, in my life that I just I made her. You chose her. And I'm still spending time with her. You know, this uh, this piece is not complete yet. It's <laughs> Right. Uh, I'm getting it ready for the arts goggle in September. Oh, um, cool. So I have two more lined up after her, and so I'll have a three-piece series. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited. Don't I, be surprised when you're one of them. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no, I mean, you've opened up a door for me, and giving me this opportunity to be on your show is incredible. Wow. I love it. Well, you know, you um, you have a great soul there, Alyssa, and uh, it was an easy read, you know, right from the beginning. So, And I love, you know, I, I like I told you, I always had an art segment in mind. You know, my Thursday shows, uh, we have a foodie segment um, when... Um, uh, what was her name? 
<laughs> oh no you better not do this to me <laughs> i'm not here you can't remember my name <laughs> when jen poor jen she's probably watching she's probably like you son of a yeah but uh she she does a foodie um segment for us on thursdays and when she can be here she's had some things come up here recently that we've had to give her some had to give her some time off to take care of them but she's uh been a lot of fun uh and uh, she does this foodie segment so i was you know my thought was on if i ever have a tuesday show i want to focus on art you know on painters and and sculptors and you know oh, yeah, people good. that create metal art mm -hmm. you know uh, and uh people that create clothing you know i want to just cover it all because i just think that you know that's we're all expressing you know our we're all expressing ourselves in some way you know, musicians through their lyrics, through their music, and you through your painting, and me through, um, uh, me through, uh, and <laughs> me through the show. Yeah, right. Yeah, the you show. Are the glue. Yeah, yeah, you're the glue, I, hey, PC. I, hey, I designed my own uh, logo, so yeah, they're very cool. Uh, no, he got some new stickers, and they yeah, look, they're just yeah. fabulous. Actually, actually, I drew the I drew my caricature and my you drew that yourself. I drew my caricature in the hand, but I had another uh, mark uh, finished it out with the little psychedelic colors and the, okay, and the yeah. rest of stuff. So he, uh, but I actually drew the bracelets and my glasses, which I'm known for, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, <laughs> very artsy. One of these days we'll have to interview you. Tables yeah. will turn. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe not. But okay. But anyway, t Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Yeah. Um, I'd like to talk. I want to let everybody know actually how DC and I met. So, okay. Okay. So okay. he's doing it's his pretty thing. exciting. It was. It was cool because it was. You know, I was doing something that I would I wouldn't normally do on a day. I was. Just, um, I think I got out of school early. I'm a full time student. And I got out of school uh, early. Art, art student. Correct, yes. And um, I got out of school early, and I was like, you know what? I really just want to go out tonight and just meet some people. And <laughs> that's exactly what I did. I met DC. Um, I went down to Grapevine, which I never do that. And I wanted to park my truck. So I parked it, and, you know, I don't know how to park in the city. I get nervous. <laughs> I'm always nervous. Like, oh, I'm going to get towed, you know. And So anyways, I um, I go into outside uh, cider, outlaw cider. Right. And I go in there, and I'm like, hey, guys, you know, I don't know if I can park my truck here. So they told me to bring it around back. And DC with his little, you know, boombox stereo, his little Bluetooth stereo, is just chilling. He's hanging out being DC. And it was instant. <laughs> by myself. He was by himself. <laughs> and I was all dressed up to go to 7th Street, you know, and meet my friends out there. And um, I walked back in just to make sure that my truck was okay. And that's when I crossed paths with DC. And he just caught my eye. He's just this hippie, just looking good, like doing his thing. And he's in his own aura. And I thought, I just find that so admirable. You know, he's out in public and he's not being anybody that they want him to. He's just being him, which is exactly who we want you to be. You know what I mean? And so I just really liked it. And I, I we start struck up conversation. And next thing you know, you asked me to be on the show and here I am. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy All how you, things like that happen. Yeah. It was amazing. All you had to say is art. That was you it. Said art, and I was like, I got my show's fixing to start. <laughs> and that's the same thing. Like, you know, it's full circle. Just my artwork just opens. Just the fact of just being an artist is just that's it. Yeah. It's like I don't. I haven't even had yeah. to really, you know, yeah. go m out much further than that than just existing and getting out there and just talking to people, and that's it. You know, um, I guess everyone in this room uh, today are people that I've met and we bumped into each other in in life. And we became good friends and at different places. And, uh, man, you know, I just think, God, there is a God because he, he like connects people and, uh, and presents opportunities for us to connect with it, one another and then travel this life together for, you know, however long that may be, uh, for all of us. And it's just, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's amazing. And it's so enriching and, uh, it's, it's nothing's coincidental. It's not. It's, it's, there's it's, no way. No, no. I, there's just yeah. no way. Yeah, and I, I, tr I wholeheartedly just believe, you know, you are where you're supposed to be when you're there. And right. You know, and shitty, pardon my French, shitty things happen, you know. Right. <laughs> it's just like, well, it needs to happen for a reason, one right. way or another, you know. Right. And so, you know, bumming into you and a starting conversation and this whole thing happening, you know, this is just a step in the right direction of where I'm trying to go. And, right. And you giving me this opportunity, if, if you were to ask me what's my 10-year plan, which, you know, who knows what your 10-year plan is, yeah. actually. But yeah. I don't like that question because I'm living free. <laughs> you know, right. I go where I want to. Right. <laughs> but if you ask me my 10-year plan, I'd say in 10 years, I would 
be in a position, I'm not saying, you know, what position, but in a position to offer opportunities such as this to other artists, right. such as me, right? who, you know, is a college student and just wants to get out there. And I do have a natural talent for art. It's yeah. always come very naturally to me. Obviously. I've yeah. never been actually trained. Um, I did, I did study um, abroad in Newfoundland, Canada for a couple of years um, doing visual and fine arts. But uh, for the most part, I went with, you know, all my skill and techniques and I came back with pretty much the same skill and techniques. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've done a lot of traveling, um, quite a bit of traveling. And one thing I've always told everybody is, you know, it's not about where you go. It's all about who you're with. You know, who speaks to you? Who who makes your soul feel like you're at home? Right. You know, because I've, I've lived in Hawaii and I lived in Canada and I've lived in all these places and people are like, man, you know, that must have been just amazing. You know, like you're just an inc- this incredible person. I'm like, it's not about me. It's It's not about me. I was like, you know, me moving to Hawaii doesn't make me an incredible person. I was like, who I met in Hawaii is who made me an incredible person. And what you experienced and, you there. know, You know, and what they've taught me. That's mm-hmm. what's made me. It's not just me getting off an airplane and stepping foot onto an island. That makes me a great person. Mm-hmm. It's all those people, you know, here and there that helped me and that have showed me, you know, to, to, to lend a helping hand to others. That's all it's been, you know, through all my traveling. I've, I've traveled solo for about the past seven years, just all, all over the place. Um... And just so many people have just reached out just to help me. Just, you know, just good souls. Mm-hmm. And I just truly believe in that. And I want that. You know, through my artwork, if you ask me my 10-year plan, it is just to create a space for other artists to feel safe, accepted, not like they're crazy. Because I want you to be crazy. Like, let your freak flag fly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want people to just be who you are. And that's it. You know? Right. I just love it. I just, you know? <laughs> So anyways, I'm very passionate about it. And, you know, I just want to keep just, you know, it's just all about, it's not about the money. Every artist, you know, mostly will tell you that. It's just not about the money. Right. Obviously, it's about the money. Sometimes right. it's because you need it. You know, it, we know artists and musicians make so much money. Yeah. yeah. You know, the all struggle of life. Yeah. Um, tell them a little bit about uh, your Peace Corps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was really cool that what you did. Yeah. I was a... Nothing short of an extremely rebellious teenager. I mean, extremely. It was was bad. (laughs) I don't know what happened because I'm not like that at all anymore. (laughs) But I was just mad at life, you know. And so, you know, finally I was like, you know, I'm just going to pack up and move. But, you know, I didn't have any money and I couldn't do that. So I joined the, um, it's actually a domestic Peace Corps. It's called the AmeriCorps. Mm -hmm. And it's a 10-month program where you basically travel for, um, with a group of people, like, you know, it's like eight to ten people or whatever, and you travel around the United States and you you work nonprofit organizations and projects and whatnot. Um, and through that, that's where I joined a wildland firefighting crew, and I had met my boyfriend at the time. And him and I are the ones who ended up moving to Hawaii and all this kind of stuff. And it's all about just giving back. I think when I first started traveling, it was more of me trying to run away from something that I didn't understand, you know, like myself. I didn't understand myself. You know, it's always been, you know, you're too loud or you're too giggly or you wear weird clothes or why is your hair like that or, you know, whatever. You know, people always have something to say. And it was like, I never felt that way. I never met weird people and thought, why are you weird? I always met weird people and thought, you know, show me who you are. Like, tell me more about you. And I never understood. I just never understood how people didn't understand me. And so it was like this weird circle of confusion. And I feel like I ran away just not knowing. And I kept running. I'm not going to lie. I kept running for those five, six years and traveling, thinking that it would make things better. And like I said, I just realized it is not where I go. There's assholes everywhere. Everybody's going to be hating on you. You just got to rock your shit, you know? You got to do it. You got to do it. You just got to be you. And you've got to, like, tell people, you know, this is it. And if you like it, then great. And if not, go away. (laughs) Like, it's just that simple. Yeah. And so once I figured that out, I feel like I... It was almost like just a darkness inside of me just left. I feel so much happier. It's been about three years now that I've just truly been pursuing me, which is my art. Right. And I mean, truly pursuing it, you know, where like for a while I tried to start my own business. You know, you you obviously, you know, fail at multiple things before you find what you, your niche is. But I started a body painting business, never painting a body in my life, you know, and like <laughs> putting pasties on Rando's nipples, just kind of like, you know, never done it before. And you're like going for it, whatever. <laughs> but I wasn't scared to fail. I wasn't scared to fail. And did the business fail? Hell yeah, it failed. That was, the, <laughs> it was a joke. It was horrible. But you know what? I learned so much about myself and about what I want. You know, it's just about, it's just about making my own schedule and being who I am and having that freedom and I'm and will do whatever it takes to figure out a way to be successful in me being independent that way I can bring others onto my ship and say 
let me help you be successful in your independence as well. Right. Instead right. of being so reliant on society and just, you know, and letting that dog you down because it will. It's so easy nowadays just to get, you know, just down in the dumps all the time, you know. It's like I was just at the gas station and people are just and mean and angry and like, you know, it's just beefy, you know, and I just have a smile on my face and I just want to hug you. Let me hug you. You know, come make some finger paints with me. Like, it'll be a good time. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of stuff I want to offer the world. You know, Alyssa, I'm looking at Bob over there, and I think, you know, he might be a good subject for that body painting. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Bob. You know, I still yeah. have I still have all my paintings. Do you? We I could, do. We could do, like, get on, we could do it on, like, one of the segments. We could have Bob come on, get, oh. get undressed, and we could do some body yeah, painting. Bob. In fact, I might help you. <laughs> I might help you do some body painting you'd on Bob. To, oh, you'd have to handcuff me. Huh? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> no, we just give you a couple of ciders. You'll be good. <laughs> You'll, oh. be, you'll be numb to the experience. We can have Shasta take some pictures. Yeah. Professional pictures. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let yeah. me get out the pasties, Bob. Come on. <laughs> yeah, well. Um, the banana hammock. I love Natalie's bracelets. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she would love cool. your bracelets, too. Yeah. I'm excited for her to yeah. watch this. She had no idea that I was making this. She didn't know she'd wind up on the newspaper, and she didn't know she really? was going to be on a radio show. So wow. <laughs> that's what I mean by I'm just so grateful that, yes, these opportunities were given to me, but these opportunities were also given to her. Right. Just because, you know, she's, when you, when you create something like this, you know, this is putting her in a spotlight that mm -hmm. she very much deserves. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's, in the few minutes that we have left, Let's uh, talk briefly about what we plan for Tuesdays uh, in the future. So we're going to have like a 10 or f to 15 minute segment about art, right? We're going to mm -hmm. bring in different artists, whatever whatever they are into. What do they want to talk about? Right. What, yeah. do, what do they want the world to know about their art? I think this is a great place to get yeah. views, to get eyes, to get out there. Right, you know? right. Like stepping stone, at least. Yeah. And I'm excited about that, and I'm excited about the fact that you're going to host that. No, <laughs> I am too. Are you kidding me? All yeah. I'm left. And that's, you know, you just get to, I through you, through meeting you, look at all these incredible people. I mean, already in this room, I've met three, I'm sure, incredible people. Can't wait to get to know y'all better. But, yeah. And just all. And they're people. all artists. Oh, yeah. In the one way or another. And that's the thing is. Music, uh, toilet fixer, toilet fixer. <laughs> we all need toilet it. Bob. We all need it. And do not forget, guys, that Thursday is Hug a Plumber Day. So <gasps> Thursday, make sure you Thursday. look Bob up and give him a big hug. I will. XOXO, Bob. <laughs> Such a pleasure. But uh, no, we're looking forward to you hosting this segment every Tuesday, Alyssa. And uh, I'm glad you're excited about it because we're gonna have fun. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah, yeah this yeah. is you know this is. I honestly, I think this has gone well, obviously, so far, the first show, but, you know, we can get way creative with this. Well, we got to get better because, you know, Jay's, Jay's an artist, and Jay's, you know, his, uh, what do you call it, his palette? His, mm -hmm. uh, is his media? Is, yeah, his media. So, we, we he's got to get a little, little work, we got to get coaching him a little bit <laughs> on that <laughs> intro to breaking news <laughs> thing, but, but other than that, he does really good. He's pretty good at his job. <laughs> But, uh, no, we look forward to seeing you next Tuesday here at 730 with our uh, first uh, guest. We have a few people in the lineup. Um, and then any weekend that some or any Tuesday that somebody can't come through, guess who's going to be the host? <laughs> who's going to be featured? You. And you. <laughs> <laughs> you, DC. I guarantee I'll be busy lining I some people up. I hope you're ready. I hope that. you're ready. Yeah. I, yeah, I'm ready. No, it'll be good. It's all, all right. going to work out. We're going to figure it out one way or another. Yeah, it'll be fun. Don't take no for an answer. Okay. That's it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm good. Okay, I am too. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, thank you so much. <laughs> of course. And I'll see you next Tuesday? Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. Cool. Alrighty. Well, guys, our featured guest tonight is Jay Lindy of Triple Lindy. These guys, they formed in 2006. They do 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, rock, country, hard rock, original stuff. That means they could be on my Thursday show. Thursday. Thursday. And Thursday. And Triple Lindy is J. Lindy Vocals, Gov Lindy on guitar, Randy F. James. The F is important. <laughs> the F is important. <laughs> I'm not going to ask what that F stands for. <laughs> He'll tell you. 
Randy fucking James. Hey, hey, it's exactly what it stands for. Yeah. <laughs> and Freddie Rivers on drums. And we've got Jay Lindy in the house. Welcome, What's man. up, brother? Thank How you, you man. doing, Thanks. man? Oh, excellent. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, I love you guys. You guys have, I know you've played another show uh, in the past. I think at Mother Truckers. Yeah. And yeah. then, uh, of course, I've seen you at different venues. So how's the band? Oh, we're tight, man. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah we're having a good time. We're yeah. Staying busy. Yeah. You know? Going all over the place, all over hell and half of Georgia. Yeah. Are you? We're always on tour, man. It, are you? <laughs> constantly. Man. Yeah. Yeah, I know you are. Well, when you're that good, you well, know, you're in you, high demand. Well, a few of us are, you know. Yeah, a few. Two, two of the four are, uh, you know, <laughs> two of the four in, high, in high demand, and then, you know, the other two, we just tag along. <laughs> hey, man, do you want to explain the origin of the band name? Of Triple Indy? Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, Triple Indy is... The name of the dive that Rodney Dangerfield did in Back to School, the very, the very, oh, yeah. the very end dive. Yeah. Yeah, okay. The triple yeah. Okay. You- and that was, I'm dating myself here. That was my first date. I took an actual girl to a movie theater, and really? we saw that movie. Yep. Really. That's a true story. Yeah. Wow. Don't look up the date of the movie though, because then. then it's how, way, it's way old. How about we play a clip of it? Okay, I go for it. Nah, it's, it's, my, it's one of my favorite movies in the whole world. Man. All right, Jay, here's the moment of truth, buddy. That's a triple ending. What dive is he going to do? The... Triple Lindy. The Triple Lindy. There will be an additional springboard installed for Melon's Dive. The Triple Lindy. Is that hard? That's impossible. the most important part right there <laughs> it all goes downhill if you don't do that yeah, right clear those armpits right man less coefficient of drag <laughs> dramatic shot Crowd goes wild. Wow. <laughs> Only Rodney Dangerfield. Best dive in cinematic history. Right Absolutely. <laughs> and now, the name of the band. Okay. That was great. <laughs> All right, enough of that. All right, so there you go, Triple Lindy. That's how it happened, right? That's how it happened, man. Yeah, that's how it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that the woman that became your wife? No. Oh. <laughs> Shh. Okay. No. Well. Shh. Sorry, babe. We don't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Oh, next question. No, my wife is so much better than the girl. Absolutely, she is, because she probably hated that movie. <laughs> So man, uh, we, we've talked about what you guys play, but what are some of the some what are some of the fra- favorite tunes on your set list that you oh, like man. to do? Oh god, there's a bunch of them. There's got. oh well, we got tons. I think we roll around with two hundred, two hundred or so. I don't know, two fifty, something like that. I don't know that uh, whatever we feel like playing at the time. Oh, uh, depends on what mood. Well, I mean, I make all the set list, right? So um, you know, a couple of days before, and Randy hates it because. Like, give he me this, has to give learn. Me, give me no. He knows all the songs. But he's like, give me, give me the set list early, man. I like to practice. I'm like, no, nah, it's all right. Yeah, come on. <laughs> you know, so, um, you know, pr- 
probably currently. Let's see. What what am I? Possum King. I like Possum Kingdom. Possum Kingdom's good. And Toadies, yeah. man. Yeah. Um, Toadies, yeah. Toadies. Uh, Toadies. You know, lo- you can't go wrong with local local right, boys. Right, um, right. Cumbersome. Seven Mary Three. Seven Mary Three is a really underrated rock band, and right. Cumbersome is a really good rock song. Right, song right. Like that. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm I'm kind of flowing into the '90s now. You know, like right. I, I go through. You know, I go through patches. Yeah. Let's play some old stuff. We just did. Uh, what did we pull off? We're. Uh, Johnny be good. Like we just oh, looked yeah. at each other and went, "Hey, you remember Johnny?" Just for no reason. You went, "You remember Johnny be good?" Yeah, man. And then, of course, you know, Gov plays everything. I mean, oh, he's yeah. like, "All right, man, let's turn this into an '80s song." You right. Know, '80s <laughs> hair metal. You know, let's put put it down and drop D and see what it sounds like. I'm like, man, okay, go for it. Freddie keeps up, knock yourself out. Yeah. Yeah. Just whatever. It's it, every every night's different. You know. Yeah. Um, it's uh feeding off the crowd, you know, what it, you see what they're into and then right. you just go, okay, well, let, you know, set list is a, is a framework, you know, and then it's a, it, it's, it's a blueprint and then you just kind of move stuff around, right. and, you know, and just based on the crowd and, and right. whatever they're feeling. Right. Or whatever somebody up, you know, somebody comes up, can you, you know this song? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is, God, what is it? It had, it had to be 10 years ago or so. We we're, uh, what is that? What is that bar? Uh, the elephant green, green, white elephant, green elephant, white elephant, white in Fort Worth. No, no, no. It was in um, it was on Lower Greenville or something like that. Oh, um. Anyway, it um, we <laughs> this guy comes up. He is knockered, man, wasted. I was like, y'all know any Belinda Carlisle? <laughs> like, no. And 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 you've been listening to us for like two and a half hours. I mean, what what makes you? I'm sorry, bro. I don't know anything the about go-go's. Belinda Carlisle. Yeah, right. You, you know Belinda Carl? N- no. Well, I do. I'm like, okay, okay. Uh, all right then. I'll... Karaoke. Yeah, you are right. right, right. <laughs> no, man, you never let karaoke because there's probably a better singer than me out there. So they come up, and, yeah. and then you got to be really good after they come up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, that can be intimidating. Some of these kids. Hey, there's a lot of good people out there. There right? are. Yeah. yeah. And they learn young. So now your bassist. Yes, he kind of has this reputation of uh, being like a sex object, right? I, that... you know, it's yeah, he is, man. He's he's probably one of the sexiest men alive. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how he deals with all those fans. It's it's I mean, tough. It's tough. Well, you've seen him in a gig, man. I yeah. mean, yeah, everybody's all over. Oh, you know, all over. Short, him. tall, round, all over. Skinny, him. yeah, man. They just they flocked around. Man, he's such a good looking guy. <laughs> I don't gonna, know how he's good. He's, he's, he's a tall guy. He is. God, he's like. Seven he foot. A, no, seven. He's not a Sasquatch, man. He's close. He's close to Sasquatch height. <laughs> he's close. He probably is a duck those low flying planes. He's <laughs> he's a big guy. He's gonna watch this and be like, man, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> Shoot, he ain't gonna watch this. He only thing he probably watches is ninety two point five. <laughs> what was that station? Uh, what's the name of that loan? Is it? <laughs> Lone Star, Lone Star nine two five. Lone Star, is that it? Yeah, the that, little video station. Yeah, I think not, it's and, underground. And his 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 little bitty show too. Little bitty yeah, show. Little bitty. Yeah. Little bitty show. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, Bo and Jim give him hell. Yeah, they do. Right. Man. Yeah, and, they do. And so I guess maybe we should kind of back off and show him some love. He, get, he gets he gets it for six hours a day, and then and then <laughs> and then and every night we play, we, he he gets it for another four hours. He, he does too, he? Man. Yeah. He's such a good guy. Randy's awesome. I just love. He him. really is. Yeah. He, you got to you got to be a good guy to put up with the the three yeah. the, the three oh, of us. Trust me, man. Yeah. 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 yeah I bet. Yeah. But he gets hell in the mornings on that show. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah. He uh, I, sometimes I feel sorry for him, but. Uh, Anyhow, he's a great dude. No, he's good. And you know what? There's there's probably not a a, a better radio producer. I, I, honestly, yeah. I love you, Randy. Yeah. Uh, there's not a better radio producer out there. He is really really good, good. at that at yeah. at that gig, man. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's and he's a good dude to, to boot. So. All right, I've done. I talked good about Randy. All right, Randy, I talked good about. Yeah, you. Yeah, we've we've filled uh, our quota of you, buddy. <laughs> so it's, it's over. Go, we're going to go back to trashing you. You want to go back and talk about sex, being a sex object again? <laughs> oh, man. So what's your go-to funny story about the band? Oh, whoa, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how how clean do I have to be? Because we've, we've been together a long time. There's, oh. a, lot of, there's a lot of stories, man. Um, I don't know. You know, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know if I got one go-to funny story. It's every... Oh, every show, I mean, every you know rehearsal, every every time we get together, and hang out, every you know, go get pizza or what, it it's they're my brothers, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like you know, you, 
you love them all the time. You want to strangle them half the time. You know, you, they make you laugh three quarters of the time. And, you know, it's just, it, I don't know, it's, it's, I've never had a bad time around the three of those guys. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. It and, really is. And you three, or you four, have been together for a long time. Oh, uh, yeah, me and Gov, uh, we've been doing this, Triple Indy is 13 years, 13, 14 years, something like that. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Freddie's been with us for 10, and then Randy's <laughs> five or six. Yeah, we've, we've been, the four of us have been together for, for a good clip. Yeah. 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 Wow. Makes it easy. Yeah. yeah I mean, it, it, it makes it easy. Well, you, and you literally are like brothers. Oh, yeah, you, absolutely. You know. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's nowhere I'd, I'd rather be than, than, uh, with them behind me, I keep saying, man, if if uh, if, if Freddie comes up here too, man, Freddie will tell you he's got the best seat in the house because he gets to look at my ass all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he says every night, man. Does he? I'm like, man, come on, this is, it's a good venue. He goes, I don't know, I just see your ass for four hours. Yeah, I heard he be yeah trying to see around it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, so what do you like? But you're kind of embarrassed to admit. What do I like? Oh, dude, I am a closet Backstreet Boys fan. No, man. Well, you really? Said, you said it had to be embarrassing. Uh, it is. I know. Yeah, it works. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> Backstreet Boys, really? Not so much. No, no don't you lie. I, t- I, t- I tell you what. Though. You were being honest, weren't you? Oh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I, t- I tell you what. I tell you what. Backstreet Boys, man, their first album, when it come, I don't know, I don't know when it came out. That. Oh yeah, you do. Don't I really, I really don't. Don't, don't start acting like you don't know now, son. Don't pull a Randy on us. <laughs> what, what I what I really meant to say was uh, that is, I tell you what, man. That go back and let go listen to it one time. The production on that album yeah. is really, really good. Uh, in, in my in my other life, I teach audio production at, in high school, right? Oh, yeah. So, um, so uh, yeah, I, I I try to play across the spectrum you know for for the kids that have never heard anything and the production on some of those like boy band albums i i I don't like the boy bands but the production on those boy band albums are solid man that is that's some good stuff it really is wow yeah 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 and plus i mean they could they can actually sing yeah you know but yeah and okay i'm a 13 year old girl deep inside i guess (laughs) yeah yeah do you want to explore that a little bit no, wait, okay. I, I, I'll come back. We'll, we'll do. We'll do a whole hour. Oh no! We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll lay. That's a whole other segment. Yeah. Oh, that's a whole other segment. I'll, I'll lay down. I'll get McJohn. I'll you lay down. Do the, we'll get you to do the worm on the table and get John McDonough in here. He'll psychotherapize you. I saw you. that, man. I Did saw, you? Yeah. I saw, Amelia. I saw the, the the he was doing the worm. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could do the worm in like you know fifth grade or so. Yeah, yeah. The CEO called me. You're in the show. Oh, really? Yeah. Get him off my table. He said, what's she doing on top of the table doing the worm? Hey. I said, hey. But he he talked to her. He was cool. He's cool. He liked it, actually. So you never know how who you're going to impress. I got to step up my game, man. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't what I can didn't. you do on the table? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> that's a whole other segment, DC. I swear. Oh, man. So What do you guys have going on? You, you, I know you do some original. Do you have plans to, like, develop a bunch of original stuff? And uh, we got, we got enough to, if we wanted to, to do an album or so. Um, I don't know. It's we're everybody's kind of busy. You know, it's it's uh, we're having a, we're having a good time doing what we're doing. Right. And, uh, you know, the, the original is just a byproduct of us playing together so long and just you know just working them out and it turned into something so we threw it in the set you know, right that kind of thing right um i don't know i we're you know uh we've throughout the years we everybody's recorded before and and gone down that road and and all that stuff but uh we've never done anything we've never recorded together um we got some live stuff i at the end of the day we're a live band i mean you you, you right this, i think I oh think yeah the, i think the show is really really tailored we we come alive when we're you know when there's one or five people in front of us you know right <laughs> and, yeah and uh you know just just have a good time and it, we're we're in our element when we're all together and there's and and there's somebody to somebody to play for and uh i don't know we'll, we'll probably we'll probably throw something together in the in the next year or so maybe once we once we all get around to it right it's not not on the it's it's not a front page kind of you know, okay thing right now but Right. Yeah. Right. It might be. 
Right. What do you all have coming up as far as uh, gigs? Oh, oh well, see, um, I know we're at Rock and Brew, you know, Rock and Brews in the Colony. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons. Right, right, uh, right. yeah. We're there every two or three weeks until the end of the year. That's like opening for Kiss. Yeah, kind of, except Kiss is never there. Right, know? but it's still there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's their still, place. It's still close, man. Yeah. Yeah, we're, uh, we're uh, I guess we're. We're auditioning for their house band spot or something. We're we're there all the time, man. Uh, they're they're good people, and, right? Um, and make a hell of a pizza. You know, oh yeah, that I take home and eat on the way home. Yeah, after the, <laughs> after after the, the gig. gig, whole pizza. Don't judge me. Yeah. Um. And uh, oh, we're in Rowlett at Hang Time. Uh, coming up, we're doing um, East East Texas Music Festival out there in Will's. Oh yeah, in Will's Point. Um, Taste of Addison. Oh okay. We're doing um, that's a I tell you what if. Everybody out there in Radio Land, Taste Addison. Uh, what date is that? Hold on, I, okay. sent you, I sent you the dates. Okay. What are they? Uh, hell if I know. Well, I've, here. <laughs> I need. I don't have a Sat- secretary. Saturday. <laughs> I, I see. Saturday, June first. <laughs> yeah, I see. Saturday, June. Shut up. <laughs> Saturday, June first. All right, we are playing with. Deep Blue Something, Spin Doctors, Plain White Tea, Smash Mouth, and the All-American Rejects. Wow. And then, and then us. That'll be cool. <laughs> We're going it, yeah. No, that's going to be a good day, man. That, yeah. Get there early, and I'm getting there early. Yeah. yeah most definitely. Okay, give us that date again. Saturday, June 1st. Saturday, June 1st. Saturday, June 1st. Yeah, we're going, no, we're going at 930. Awesome. And then... Yeah, we're all over the place, man. Uh, doing a couple more American Eagle Harley Davidson gigs out in Corinth. Uh, yeah. They uh, they do those big Saturday motorcycle rides and everything. Right, right. Those, those are good times. Barbecue all over the place. Hot dogs. Oh yeah. And motorcycles and yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Scandal, scantily clad women. Yeah. Yeah. But I oh. like the motorcycles. But they don't matter. No, I I, I go for the motorcycles yeah. and the hot dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. The food <laughs> and the bikes. What, what you know? What bring it? Yeah. Um, what about uh, if people want to reach out to you to book you um, or just, you know, see what you guys got going on? And oh, you, got, you got a website? Yeah, we got a website, uh, 3xlindy.com, and uh, that'll get you the website. All the social media, uh, Facebook is Real Triple Lindy. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, Triple Lindy Rocks. Um, Twitter is Real Triple Lindy, and then we all got the tweeters or whatever personally and they can they can find us on there and you know whatever you do on the Twitter. I, I thought that maybe your website would be something like Randy Sex Machine. <laughs> well, see when it when, it, com when no when when I when the way back in the day when I was typing in the website name yeah. right I didn't well I knew Randy but I but he wasn't oh. he wasn't playing with us yet oh. so yeah you had to do dead A you'd put in his name. No, because then, then, <laughs> then, then it goes to his head, you know. Oh, and he's it's like, like it's not already there. Yeah. <laughs> really, I did not say that, Randy. I did not. We love I, you. I, I no, we love that. you, Randy. He said that. You are like you're like my brother. Actually, we are. Yeah, you, you <clears> told me related. before. Yeah, y'all yeah, are related. We are related. We uh, yeah, we're brothers. We actually, um, uh, I'm his half brother because I only got half the good looks in the family. He got them all. But uh, yeah, but I I love Randy. Um, yeah. You know, I wish we could have had the whole band here to hear, let people hear you guys play. But you know what? It's just not possible. But if you guys haven't heard Triple Indy, you got to check them out. You got to go check them out, get the schedule, and uh, go hear them play because you'll just be uh, uh, totally rocked. Cool. Totally, we try, man. We try. Oh, yeah, it's it's a good show. I it's promise. a fun show. It's, it's a, a good fun show. show. Yep. You know, really talented guys. They're just really freaking awesome and. Uh, uh, you guys got to hear them. Appreciate it. Yeah, please come on out. Find us three xlendy dot com. Yeah, come on out and we're all like I said like I said earlier. We're always on tour, man. We go. We're we're all over the place. Yeah. So, well, that means that you're doing good. Yeah. Well, or we're doing something. Yeah. <laughs> we're people doing something. People won't have you back if you're not good. You know, uh, if you're not putting butts in the seats. Butts in the seats, man. That's what matters, right? So, um, you know, I just got to thinking about this, but. Um, We've got to get a beverage sponsor for Barside Jive Live on Tuesdays because I get thirsty as hell during this show. I was going to ask, man. I'm kind of parched. Right I know. Now. Me too. We got to reach out. We got any libations? Uh, we we got to get a spot. We got to get a like, I don't know who, Lone Star Beer or 
Maybe a tequila distributor. Somebody. There we go. Something. Dude, hit him. We hit, got a wet hit palate. My, hit my favorite bar up, man. Hey, we should. What is that? Wood Wood Creek Brewer. Wood Creek. Wood Brewery? Creek, man. Yeah, they're in. Uh, really? Yeah, they're in Rockwall. They're just down the street from my house. We. They are we need fabulous. We need a sponsor they for this show. They are fabulous. Maybe you could. I'll, uh, I'll, I'm, I'm put in, in a good word for I'm us. I'm in there quite a bit. Are you? Yeah. Put man. in a good word for yeah. us. Too. All right. I'll so see what I can. We'll get. work them a deal. Yeah. We'll work for beer. So. We'll work, <laughs> absolutely. We'll work a deal. Hey, man, I appreciate you taking the time to stop by. Thanks and for having me, Talk brother. about yeah. triple freaking Lindy. Absolutely, man. And I wish you guys all the success there is in the world. You guys do a great job. And I just thank you for, you know, coming and being a part of our show today. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on, man. You're welcome, brother. Awesome. Now, keep your seat. We're going to close this bad boy out, all right. Bob. All right. Bob. Guys, check out my DFW concert calendar. Uh, actually, uh, it's going to be part of this show next Tuesday, but then when you listen to the zoo, check out my concert calendar I do on the zoo. The zoo. On vocal. Because it airs throughout the day, every freaking day here at vocalnow.com. Uh, pro tip. If a guy calls you pretty, he likes your eyes. If a guy calls you hot, he likes your body. If a guy calls you fabulous, he likes your brother. Let that sink in just a little bit. <laughs> if you guys have a life hack or a pro tip that helps you get through life, email me at dc at barsidejive.com. Remember, vocalnow.com is about everything vocal. Download the app to your mobile device. Um... Or go to your browser and just type in uh, vocalnow.com and go to the l vocal live image and watch the show. Barsidejive.com is about all things me, and you can check out all my stuff there. Don't forget, on Saturday, May 4th, from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., I'm hosting a Cigars and Ciders event at Outlaw Cider, 112 East Texas Street in historic downtown Grapevine, Texas. The event is sponsored by Outlaw Cider and Oak Grapevine Cigar and Tobacco Shop. Um, tickets are $15, and that gets you a pint of cider of your choice, an Outlaw Cider, and a Oliva Cigar. Also, your ticket will enter you into two raffles, one for an electronic Bluetooth smoker and one for a growler courtesy of Outlaw Cider. Also, there'll be some cigar and cider swag, I understand, and additional cigars and pints of cider will be available for purchase. Now, my show today has also been brought to you by Hip and Hippie. Hip and Hippie is a planet-loving company known for its high-quality, earth-friendly, 100% recyclable organic candle line and their natural body care products. It's no wonder eco-supporting people love Hip and Hippie, hipandhippie.com. Thanks to Shasta, our show photographer today. She can be found at ShastaDBellaPhotography.com. I also want to thank Jay and maybe Jimmy. Jay, you still awake? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, that's some enthusiasm there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was awake this time. Our production team, because really those guys uh, keep everything straight here and make sure it's right most of the time. And I appreciate you guys uh, being a part of the show today. My parting thought is, if you were able to believe in Santa Claus for eight years, you could sure believe in yourself for at least five minutes. Oh, got another dickhead of the day, Bob. All right. Yeah. This goes out to Rick from your fan club. So let's play the song. Jay. <laughs> oh, Jay. I was so in hopes that this was going to work. It's payback time it is. for what you put me through.
I shall drink champagne when you are no more If I never see your face again, that's too soon I've never met anyone so suited to this tune I hope your friends desert you and your health is poor This is what I think you are One, two, three, four, dickhead You're such a dickhead And everybody knows it, everyone but you all right, Rick, I hope you enjoyed your song. Guys, if you want to dedicate the Dickhead song to someone that you believe be worthy, email me at dc at barsidejive.com. It's just that freaking easy. Boner, want me to remind you once again, I know, May 17th, Dos Equis Pavilion, ZZ Top. And Boner's favorite, Billy Gibbons, will be there. In addition to ZZ Top, Bad Company and Cheap Trick will play that show. So, guys, Bob? Yes, sir. Jason, we're out of here, guys. Any last uh, any last comments? Anything you guys want to say? Bob looks like a man of few words right there. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Sleep yeah. tight. <laughs> All right, we're out. Thanks here. for having me, bud. Bye. Okay, guys, so we're out of here. Thanks again so much for being here. Keep it real. Keep on rocking. Be kind to one another. See you next uh what is it? Tuesday? Yeah, next, next Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, come back and see Alyssa do art. Yeah. All right, guys. Till next time. Oh, remember, you do a you do covers, your tribute band. It's a place to be on Tuesdays. <laughs>